So what do you understand your reputation to be coming into the draft? Is that something you're just trying to build on or maybe trying to change people's perspective on you? Yeah, I'm definitely trying to change. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, I don't read the draft boards and stuff, but obviously, you know, my agent and people around, you know, tell me I have to, uh, you know, prove people wrong in this draft and kind of be that underdog. But I mean, I love that. You know, it's been me my whole life pretty much uh, coming from a smaller school uh, at Hawaii. So, I mean, I thrive in these situations. I like, I like being the underdog. How odd was this workout for you? Not a lot of other guys to play against, not regular five on five, but did you feel comfortable and get to show what you wanted to? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is my second back to back, so legs were definitely uh, a little tired, especially at the end. But I mean, the Raptors did a great job. Um, this was unbelievable workout. You know, yesterday and today, the intensity was, I mean, great. You know, they had us really going, even though we weren't uh, we weren't going against each other necessarily. I mean, I. We were both tired by the end of the workout. You know, it was really good, like hour, hour and 15, and just hard, you know, all different kind of shots and stuff. So this was, I mean, this was a great workout. Do you take it as a compliment that they brought you in, not only a second time in a row, but to put you up against a guy who, you know, some, some places have him in the top 10? Mm, definitely. I mean, the fact of them bringing me in is huge for me. You know, I haven't been home since August. Um, so this is, I mean, to see my parents, see my family, uh, probably see my friends, you know, next couple of days, when not. Um, it's huge for me, and this is, I used to go to Raptors games growing up for five, six years straight. Um, you know, when VC was here back in, back in those days, you know, when I was a little kid playing OBA and, you know, basketball down here. So just to be able to come in and these facilities are unbelievable and the people here are just amazing people. You mentioned growing up here. I know it's not your focus right now, um, but you did play under 19s with Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, is the national team something that you, you've thought about or you've been in contact with them about at all? Yeah, um, so I played, obviously I grew up here and whatnot, mm -hmm. and I played uh, uh, 16, 17 for the junior team. And, and I took a couple of years off just to kind of focus and, um, you know, throughout college and stuff. And I'm definitely, I mean, I'm interested. Obviously, that's something I, I kind of wanted to clear up to a lot of people. Obviously, I'm from Serbia too, but I grew up here. You know, I'm Serbian, I'm Canadian, I'm proud to be both. Um, so whatever team honestly has the best opportunity and both teams are great. And like I said, I grew up here and this this place gave my parents an opportunity, gave me an opportunity. So. Um, both both teams are, are great, both countries, you know, I, I represent well and I would love to play for both. Have you seen Jonas around to uh, remind him about that dunk a few years back? Oh man, uh, no, honestly. Um, I remember after that we, we kind of joked about it, you know, I said something in the game, but he's a great guy. I mean, he, I can't say anything, he gave us 30 points that game, you know, he, he dunked all over, you know, three or four of us at, at one time. He's an unbelievable player, I mean, you could see that, that whole tournament. He, Dominated, dominated the U.S. Um, really cool guy. You know, I got to hang out with him after a little bit down there, and you know, he's from Lithuania. That was over in Latvia. So, really cool guy. I haven't seen him since. Um, maybe I'll throw a joke in, but I got, I got a lot of respect for him. He's a great player.